Hello, today I'll be going over a tutorial on how to use the Easy Lock system. Um, first thing you'll notice is you have, of course, the Easy Lock system here, and then you also have a lock mechanism there. And then on the bottom of the chair, you will have a pin that sticks right at the bottom of the chair. And the way you want to do this is you want to line that up directly with the easy lock system and as you make your way there and push it forward you give it a tug and that chair is locked on the dash you will notice two new buttons one being here and one being here these two buttons are going to be used to unlock the chair so for example you will hit is here. Chair unlocked. Please roll back. Now you can just roll it out straight back. Now, if you're ever in a position where you are unsure if the chair is locked, one way you can find out is simply starting the car. Stop. Chair not locked. Stop. If you chair keep hearing locked. that, that means, of Stop. course, the chair is not locked. Not locked. Um, all Stop. you have to do is give it chair a push. Not Stop. Chair not locked. Ready. Chair locked. So as soon as that sound goes away, of course, that means the chair is locked. If you want to drive the vehicle without transporting anyone in the chair, to bypass the security feature, you will first turn on the vehicle. Stop. Chair not locked. In order for the Stop. security feature to be Chair disabled, Stop. you will need to Chair keep your locked. hand on this Stop. button here. Chair not locked. Stop. Warning. Lock deactivated. Now you can drive the vehicle without anybody being there. Last but not least, I will be going over the emergency manual system. This system is designed for in case of electronic failure. So for example, if you hit this and it doesn't work and then you hit your main button, it doesn't work. You will have a manual lever which you can pull towards you and it will release the chair just like this. So now you'll be able to release the chair manually.